and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Okay, the Book of Boba Fett, uh, episode five. Yeah, no. Return of the Mandalorian. This is definitely not a Boba Fett episode. It doesn't even start out with Boba Fett. It literally starts out with the Mandalorian hunting down a bounty. And honestly, I'm not against this episode. This episode was nice. However, what I was expecting from a Star Wars show was something more like this, where it's literally just called Star Wars, not Boba Fett, not Mandalorian, not Ahsoka, not Obi-Wan, where it's just called Star Wars. And like three episodes would be about one character. Four episodes will be about another character, and they all interact throughout the series as they all meet up. Or it could be like the history of Star Wars, where it's about different points in time where you get to fall in love with these characters, and if they do good, they could get their own branch out of a movie or series or something, or they could have re re returning roles. Like we could have XR Kuhn, we could have Darth Revan or. Uh, Lord Revan, Darth Malak as he took the throne. I mean, the, the originality of the Sith. There's so many things they could have done, which would have been far better. That way we could have a week for week episode because there would be a ton of content in the Star Wars galaxy that we could have a, an episode, probably two episodes every single week as they just do stories and tales. Yeah, how we got the rule of two. I think there are so many little things that they could do, which is just like when I see something like this, it aggravates me because like this isn't Boba Fett. You called it the book of Boba Fett, but this isn't Boba Fett. This is Star Wars. You're literally just introducing characters from Star Wars. This episode had a lot of bait, had a lot of bait. They basically had the Nar Naboo Starfighter, of course, which honestly, I love it the way they, they decked it out. It basically a hot rod engine. It's just amazing what they did with that. There's a lot of nostalgia bait, the, the trash compactor. If you, when they bring that up, just like, oh my gosh, how'd they get it? I was thinking they were gonna say where they got it. It's like, oh, okay, maybe that, that, that makes sense. I mean, it was compacted. So there are a lot of little things that are just like, it's all bait. And then they have that uh, lady come back who, uh, who works on, in uh, Moss Eisley at, at the port. She's, She's just there for comment because just to be funny. She dated a Jawa. I mean, little things she says. Like, I don't mind. I don't mind, but it does so many little things that it's just like they could do so much better. Cause I hate the fact that it's called the Book of Boba and they don't have Boba Fett in this episode even once. They bring Fennec in at the very end, but it's primarily about the Mandalorian. But I did love how they introduced more of the Mandalorian's history. I, for one, know a lot about the war, warring race of the Mandalorians. Warring people, not race, exactly. Warring people of the Mandalorians, because it's a, it's a creed, it's a culture. It's something you just adopt. It's not something you're born into, which kind of was the fall of Mandal, which basically was the fall. And how Mandalore is and how, has always been. I mean, there's a lot of little things. Uh, yeah, I freaking love the history behind it all. So it's for someone who's a huge fan like me, it, it's all baiting things like, I already know this, I already know this, I already know this. And it, it introduces the fall of the why it fell. I mean, the way the legends were created. <laughs> the one thing that drove me like crazy is just like, they were talking about how Baskar is not made to be weapons. Yet she was okay with a Baskar blade being turned, or Bas Baskar metal being used to create a lightsaber. And yeah, there's so many little things that are just like, oh, but I did love how, since he's he, he's fighting against the, the crystal, the blade, the dark saber, he's fighting against it, which is why it's heavy. Cause I remember George Lucas's first idea is these blades are heavy, but they introduced the fact that when you're one with the blades, these blades have crystals of Kyber. They, they have hearts of Kyber. They are intelligent. They are, they have a soul of their own. So you have to work with the blade. It has to become one with you. So it was just like one of those things like, oh, I freaking love it. I freaking love the little histories, little nuances, little baits here and there. For those huge fans who know a lot about the world, it wasn't forced on you except for like the uh, Naboo uh, Starfighter. The, it's just like all these little things that are just thrown in. I, just, oh. I enjoyed it. Yeah, they made Mando very, very weak, but he was in a fight scene at the very, very beginning, and they explained it away because I was like, okay, yeah, because I figured it, it was my biggest uh, problem with the whole lightsaber, even though I knew the history, it's like, why doesn't anyone just use it? It was just because 
the way the blades are made, the way you have to be one with the blade. No, only Jedi can really get to the heart of the blade. They, the, the way they live their life for others, the, the blade kind of resonates with them. So the dark saber must have a different, a, a, some kind of strange heart that has taken on the personality of those who have wielded it before. It, 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 it's an heirloom of sorts. So I actually really do like how they did, just baited that just a tiny bit. Because it's been, the Darksaber has been passed down from Mandalorian to Mandalorian. And it's just like they would always wield it fine. Especially in like the Clone Wars, it's just like, ugh, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> but I did, I did really like the, the whole thing. Even though there are a lot of things that I don't really like. Because <laughs> it's just like, you're calling it the Book of Boba Fett. I'm here to watch Boba Fett. Nothing here has to do with Boba Fett. This is all the Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, but it's obviously getting better. Obviously getting better because they're starting to rope in more. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have uh, an Ahsoka episode at some point in time. I, I'm behind the curve. I, there are three episodes lined up, so I'm just gonna pop them out back to back to back. Whew. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles. Bye.